evening. This is Renika Thomas, and I'm back with Week Three's uh, journal. Uh, the first question is: How does my fat and caloric intake compare with target levels? Uh, for my fat and caloric intake, I was okay for vegetables and proteins, but under by one ounce for grains, under by two and one fourth for dairy, and over by three fourths for fruits. Uh, number two. What vitamins and minerals fell below the target level? Uh, for that, I had vitamins D, E, and choline, along with the mineral potassium. All of those fell below the target level in my intake. Uh, next question is, explain the importance of consuming the following. Uh, for minerals, minerals are important for building strong bones and teeth, blood, skin, hair, nerve, function, uh, muscles, muscle fibers, and for me metabolic processes uh, so that it can turn the food that we eat into energy. Um, vitamins are important for immunity, metabolism, and digestion. Carbs or carbohydrates provide glucose in our body and that creates energy for us to burn. Um, there are two kinds of carbohydrates and that's simple and complex carbohydrates. The complex carbs uh, they are the ones that have more nutritional value than the simple. Uh, water is needed in order for us to survive. Of course, it keeps us hydrated. It helps with digestion, keeps the blood circulating, um, brings oxygen and nutrients to the cells in our bodies, helps allow movement in our joints, muscles, and removes toxins. Uh, proteins. Proteins carry B vitamins and they help release energy. Um, basically, it's what we need to help build strong muscle mass and bones and help with the formation of blood cells. Fiber helps by assisting the digestive tract to function properly and acts as an antioxidant by preventing certain cancers, uh, digestive orders, diabetes, and heart disease. Um, for fats, well fats, uh, in the sense of good fats, they're good for your heart and they act, act as an, a storage unit for vitamins and minerals uh, and it also provides a covering for like visceral organs and visceral tissue in the body. Um, for part two, I was surprised to learn that my intake levels for grains and fibers were really low so I know two things that I can do to change that um, I I'm thinking I would just basically uh, increase my intake for fibers and grains and decrease my intake for fruit and veggies well not veggies but fruits because that was like over the target level um, Next is, what effect does your diet have on your health condition and wellness? Um, my diet plays a big part of my health. I mean, so far now, uh, I eat a lot of fruits and veggies now. I eat that more than meat. Um, it always gives me an incredible boost of energy daily. Uh, I'm more alert, and I see a bigger result in my weight loss. Um, for... The next one, uh, what's this? Does your diet intake protect you or increase your health risk? Uh, my diet uh, protects me. It plays a big part of my health. Uh, I'm more alert, and like I said, I see a lot of re results in my weight loss. Um, usually, I try not to go over 1,600 calories a day. Uh, I fill my meals up with uh, healthy and organic uh, fruits and veggies, um, and I also read labels. I read and measure everything that I eat. Um, the next one says, explain two ways I can improve my diet, and basically, like I said, I need to cut back on some of those simple carbs, like uh, the veggies. Not the veggies, but the fruits. <laughs> because my target level was a little over for the fruits. So I just need to cut back on those and uh, increase my intake of fibers and grains. 